So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Chiral Network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Lucky him. We appreciate everything. Yeah, that's kind of mean. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. We better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. Wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. Nothing left to say. So long, Sam. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. Do you still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want... What I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? Tell me the truth. Was this all for you or all for Bridget? This is for our country. For our future, that is the truth. There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? Did you lie? Fuck me. You have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross a continent for. A reason to build the UCA. It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. <laughs> That's great. Are you right? I never gave a shit about this country. I have no ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. That's awesome. But it all worked out in the end. <laughs> What the? Yeah. I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. I used you to, they gave you a bigger that's reason cool. than just do do help me? connect Jump the UCA. Like no, the beach goes the whole way. We run together. But then she got run. into trouble with pigs, technically. Yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach. <laughs> Mario in <and> Princess Beach. Right here, okay? Mm -hmm. What? What? The die hard man. President Bridget Strand. So you finally invited me to the beach. 
Remember this. It's the same gun. And now I'm using it to make things right. You were supposed to make the world whole. Not fuck it all up. Okay, then. Get on with it. There is no atonement. Not for us. Sorry. Actually, though, what is happening? I don't I'm know so if this is sorry. a vision or if this is real, too. That's the old president, too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Is the nightmare one?
Oops. <laughs> it's me. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Where am I? Back oh yeah, by the, the way, belt. they're making a Splinter Cell you have Netflix TV she? show. Well, we don't I think know. it's an anime, she didn't back east. but still, no, but after she pretty saw to you, She contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then gone. Bridget. Oof. I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach. Couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry. We didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there, too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well, it would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone, and Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? <laughs> Contagious. <laughs> Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then. Still America one more again. step. Why don't you save that <laughs> shit for someone who cares? I've done my part. Fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government oh, is the least oh. of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow. If tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Amelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same. Neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course. But believe me when I say it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is new. Mama, no, no Lochner. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. It's definitely a good game. We're all Linda. waiting for you, Sam. Worth picking up when you do. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, 
There's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie. Straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin. The price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Amelie and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> now, get out of there. And make sure you head east, towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Gross. <laughs> All right. The cargo you were carrying, so the cargo you were carrying before crossing the car has been placed in a private locker and safe. Access via the delivery terminal. Okay. So drink up. The plot thickens. So it looks like he already took his shower or whatever. Uh, check on Lou. The, uh, the private room here and make our way I guess to the next area oh yeah a child special one of a kind Bridget. a BB candidate and John either that or a sacrifice he's wearing the mask Foundation. Episode 10, Die Hard Man. <laughs> I see why they're like, oh. We want you to travel all the way to Lake Knot City. And I see why they take away tra uh, fast traveling because they're like, oh, we don't want you to be able to jump from here to the next thing we want you to walk all the way there oh yeah well i'm gonna jump myself <laughs> there we go sam do you 
copy? I've been looking into Clifford Mountain to recap whose retirement after how now and that clip I think we're missing uh -oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going on. Both were happening at the same time. <laughs> I was like, it's getting way too loud. Is that in the game or no? It's mod. <laughs> I can basically fast travel anywhere. The power of PC gaming. I couldn't just go off and get myself killed Okay. Wait, was that it for complete episode ten? Oh, okay. Well, that was that was traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. That literally took like five minutes. The magic of fast traveling. I don't know. This way we might be able to finish today. We'll see though. I'm getting to the point where I'm ready to, to see how this game wraps up, though. Episode 11, Deferred Unger. Oh God. Are we All he wants is BB. He just wants BB back. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I think we're in Vietnam. Anti VT handgun. seems like that Yeah. Well, there are two other instances earlier on in the game where it, it goes into, like, there's one where you're in World War One, and then the second part, you're in World War Two. Now, it seems like we're probably in Vietnam. And then I wonder if we'll eventually go to, like, Iraq or Af Afghanistan, too. Because technically, him, he was an Iraqi, uh, well, not Iraqi. He, he fought in the Iraq war before eventually uh, having BB, I guess. I hope they just make the, the connection on where, uh, Cross the battlefield and go to cliff. Get my baby. I actually love these sequences too. I think these parts are so cool. That's him right there. Yeah, you can tell by the green. I need my BB. Please. Hold back. Jason. Some armor plates and grenades up ahead. And the next assault rifle. I'm gonna pick up that next assault rifle.
Go, 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 go. Thank you. Probably a bad time, but we'll rearrange anyways. Rifle right here. We need to need reinforcements. Usually it's like take him down two or three times and then open fire. I can't see. Tell me why you're doing this. I don't know if I'm even going to need the armor plating at this rate. Can we talk this out? Can't you see I'm taking good care of BB? Dude, I can't see him. Cliff, just tell me. Talk to me, man. Tell me what's going on. Give me back my baby. Now you cut it 
lange. Who are you? Are you the father? They told me your name was Sam Porter. When you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. Why is he chair? to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up. and again when the brass sent us into the jaws of hell it was you that brought us home bring back my baby oh boy We are flying through these now, but I'm cool with that. I like that. I really like that. We're on what? 12 now? I think. Yeah. Sam, uh, are you okay? I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Knot City. 
How'd I wind up here, then? Remember, Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my baby. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. It didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. That man, Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Emily. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first. Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes. Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you. I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes. But on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was via hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Amelie was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? 
Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Amelie is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Amelie is Amelie? Hell, for all I know, the EE theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. Yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. Episode 12, Bridges. Oh boy. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, up. Alright, hold on one sec. I'm just gonna.